G'day guys and welcome to me lab and to this the eighth episode in our Wolfenstein 3D tutorial series um, which we are doing in Godot 4. Now so far we have done a fair bit but we have got uh, one of the more exciting parts to do today and that is how are we going to kill our enemies. So let's have a quick uh, look at what we've done so far and then we'll do our WWSS and get on into it. So far we have our world, our weapons, and our enemies sorted out. We're going to bring all of them together in this one and make it so we can now kill those enemies. Why? Well, it is a first person shooter that we're making. You're going to need to understand and apply how to use Raycast as well as a little bit of GD. And your success today will be seeing your enemies lying dead on the floor. All right, let's just jump on in and get some stuff done. So first things first, let's grab our UI script up on the screen. There's a couple of things I want to do. So we're going to tweak this a little bit. So we're going to take away our can shoot variable from being within our process function in that script. So I'm just gonna take away the var there. And then what I'm gonna do is come up here and actually, oops, um, and actually put it in here. So var can, oops, can shoot equals true. So what I'm doing there is just making sure that this is something we can get access to externally as well when um, we play around. So we wanna make sure that this variable, so down here we had var, we were deleting var from here and then putting in this whole line up here, var can shoot equals true. And that then means we can change what can shoot is down here. That's not a problem. So that's all I wanna do in our UI for now. Save that, go to our player script and then uh, also to our player scene. And then if you don't mind, grab your 3D view as well. So this is our 3D view of our player. And here's the camera. So this is sort of our line of sight. What we want to do here is add something that is going to enable our player character to detect enemies and uh, interact with them. So what we're going to use for that is called a raycast. So click on your camera 3D and then click on the plus because we're going to make this raycast a child node of our camera 3D. So a raycast 3D, child node of our camera 3D. Now over in your inspector window, there's this target position. That's where we want to look first. So at the moment, X is zero, Y is negative one, and Z is zero. What I want to do is change our Y to zero and our Z to negative 20. And when I do that, you see this uh, blue line extend out from the player's vision, essentially. If we change our negative 20 to negative five, you'll see it's suddenly much, much shorter. So what we're doing here is we're essentially projecting an invisible laser beam from our eyes to try and interact with things in our line of sight. And that's how we're going to know that we're aiming at and able to kill um, the Nazi guards in our game. So that's their set like that. What we also need to do here is think about our layers and things. So um, we want to have a look just to make sure that all of our layers are set up correctly. So our player, we want our player to be on layer one, mask one and two. That's how we would often set this sort of thing up. Our camera, um, that's not so much a big deal. What about our raycast? So at the moment, um, we actually wanna be able to um, also get our guard, right? Which is gonna be on, on layer two. So I'm clicking layer two there. What I wanna then do is just double check the layers for our guard, just in case we've done these things differently. So back to our guard, look at our um, collisions here. So we've got our guard layer two, not one, and mask one and two. So if you set yours up like that as well, um, that won't be a drama for you and you'll be able to make sure that your raycast can inter interact with these guards. So layer two, mask one and two for your guard. And then our player's raycast needs to be collision mask one and two. And our player's um, collision stuff is layer one, mask one and two. So hopefully that all makes sense. Layer is where you are, mask is what you're interacting with. So our player wants to be on layer one, but interacting with layers one and two. Our enemy is on layer two, interacting with layers one and two. Okay, but our raycast um, isn't really on a layer, it just detects things and we want it to detect layers one and two. Right, so that's that bit done. Save, because that's just good policy. Let's go back to our script now and to our player script. So in our player script, what we're gonna wanna do is make a couple of changes. Um, and the first one I think we will do is just set up an on ready variable for our um, UI script, because we're gonna wanna access it um, later on. And, and we can do that, and I'm not always consistent with these on readies and stuff. And sometimes I'm just gonna drag things over, but I'm just trying to expose you to different ways of doing stuff, all right? So we can set up a little variable here which is essentially a UI script and what I mean by that delete this little dollar sign UI you just come over here to where it is in our um, scene tree and just drag it over and drop it and it's the exact same thing there again so because this is a child node of this scene our player script can interact with it 
So we're just going to set up this variable here where we're going to call um, UI script occasionally to do a few things. All right, that's the top of our player. Let's go down to the bottom of our player scene. And what we want to do in here is add something that's just going to make sure that when we are interacting with those enemies that we're making sure we're shooting at the same time and all that sort of thing. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a new little Duvalaki down here, which is going to be listening for our... Um, it's going to listen for our spacebar. So if input action just press, so if we've hit our spacebar, if UI script can shoot. So what that is, is what we were just having a bit of a play around with here. This can shoot in our UI script. So we're saying if this variable is true in our player script, we can then run the shoot function, which we haven't made yet. All right, so if UI script can shoot, then shoot. So what we'll do next is make the shoot. So func shoot. And what are we going to do in this function? Well, we're going to interact with or use our Raycast to interact with things in the scene. So how's that going to look? So if our camera 3D Raycast 3D, so just to show you again, if I delete that and just come over here, click on our Raycast and just drag it over and drop it, it shows you the exact same thing, right? So if camera 3D Raycast 3D, so yeah, we could go up here, right? And just make something new at on ready var um, ray equals and then grab this ray cast and drop it in like that and then down here wherever we've got this we could just change this to be ray does that make sense so that's what's going on when we're using those sorts of um, variables and things sometimes it, it makes it easier so typing these long things out it's a bit laborious so we can make a little on ready variable up there which just makes it shorter and then down here func shoot if ray so if our laser beam eyeballs are colliding with something um, and what we're colliding with has a method called die, then we want to run that die method in whatever we're colliding with. That's what this function is saying. So if we go to our guard and have a look down the bottom here, we made this function called die. So function die dead equals true, animated sprite 3D play die, collision shape 3D disabled equals true. So what we're saying is when our uh, Raycast 3D interacts with our uh, guard's um, collision shape and we're allowed to shoot at that moment then our guard is going to run the uh, die animation and disable its collision shape so they're not an obstacle in the course anymore that's sort of what we're doing so that's um, something we've already coded you don't need to do that but here is where we actually run it so we're not running it from within its own script we're running it from this script here all right I think we're probably close to being able to run this. So let's see um, if I've got that right or I'm about to embarrass myself. So let's click on play. I can shoot and yes, we're killing Nazis just like we always want to do. Come on now. I think because I've got it set to just pressed, um, you can't just hold down the button to do that. So let's see if we can fix that as well. Close that. Um, if input action. So let's just change this one to if in input action pressed. Okay, play. Let's try again. Yeah, so I'm just holding down this time and we're able to rid the world of Nazi scum. Excellent. So let's have a look at our must may might and, and carry on from there. And our must may might for today, you're going to need to add that Raycast and update the player script. You're going to want to perhaps consider um, expanding your world some more and you might like to think about how we will handle our player's death because that's coming up soon. If that's all come together for you, you should now be able to prowl around your castle laying waste to your enemies. We will have a little bit of a look at some player damage in our next one. And the quote I'd like to leave you with this time is from Albert Camus and he said, sometimes carrying on, just carrying on, is a superhuman achievement. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.